Okay, this is second video about online redo logs, database redo logs. And it is important that you watch the first video in order to be able to understand what's happening, what are we discussing. You, you can do that uh, from YouTube. All my videos are on YouTube. And you can also do that from the website that is written in front of you, right lower side of the screen. I'll quickly log on to the database as sysdba to the database we are logged on to the database with the help of this application is sql star plus there's two very important data dictionary views that will give you information important information about redo logs one of them is v dollar log and these are the number of columns that this data dictionary view has and there is another one known as v dollar log file okay so I just want to show you a limited number of columns from this dictionary view I want to show you group number members and status and this will give you very important information so select group number pound sign and members and status so select group number comma members comma status from v dollar log which is the name of the data dictionary view semicolon and enter and you can see we have two groups group number one and group number two each group has one member and one of them is is inactive and the other one is current this current one it means that the log writer is writing to this group at the moment to this member and to this group now this configuration is based on the minimum requirement and it is not a good practice in practical situations where you have a database running or storing a business critical data so it may be good enough for someone like myself who is using Oracle for training knowing that I do not have any important data stored in my database however I'll show you how to add another group so what I'll do I'll go to to the operating system and I'll go back to C drive CD backslash change directory and we are on C drive so I'll create another directory I'll say MD this is how you create a folder with the help of command prompt make directory md and then we'll say re, redo logs or redo log okay so we want to create another group and we want to store we want that group to be a part of our architecture so md redo log and you just want to make sure that this directory or this folder has been created so we have created a folder, a directory known as redo log and I'll change, I'll say cd change directory redo log to show you there's nothing in it at the moment. Okay, so we'll go back to SQL start plus and we'll say alter database add log file to group and we want to add a third group there were two groups only we have to define the location of the file and the name of the file so we'll say the location is c colon backslash redo log and we want to create a member so we'll say redo 01 is the member with it with an extension of reo and we'll close this single quotation so we open a single quotation here and this quotation is closed here and so we'll say size 10 m for example okay so we're adding another group database alter if you run this statement once again you now have three groups and as you can see the status is unused it means that this group has never been used before 
this one is the current one and this one is inactive this is full this is the one that is being written by log writer background process and this has never been used 